Hey guys, it's your man Blue Rapid, and today we are looking at another Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer. I don't know what Square Enix is thinking by doing all this for us, but you are not going to see me complaining. No sirree kebab. The funny thing is, is yes, I know I'm late reacting to this, unlike the uh, other trailer that we got. Because I'm very, very busy, and so I eventually I have found time to do a reaction to it. But the part that I find funny is the fact that it literally was like three or four hours apart, and I, I saw it right as it came out, and I was like, bruh, why are you doing this to me? I don't have no time. Why can't you just put the trailers together? Why? From what little I have seen, I do know that it is involving Pirates of the Caribbean. And from what little I have seen from that, I can tell the quality is beautiful. It's, it's high quality stuff right there. I guarantee it looks good. It looks good. And I've also heard that the original actors that played the roles are doing the voices for these characters, which is even better. I mean, come on. Like... I do appreciate when a voice actor tries, at least tries, to be the character that they are portraying. If you are going to be that character and you don't even want to try to do the voice, get the heck out of there. I watched a dubbing of a Japanese show. It was it was a totally Japanese cast, and they tried dubbing it, and you, they sound nothing like the original people. I was like, come on, you gotta at least try. But the, the people in Kingdom Hearts 2 did try, I felt like. They did. They honestly did. But nothing is better than the original. So without further ado, let us hop into this so that we can see what magic is happening with Kingdom Hearts. And then we will talk a little bit about uh, what is going on with Kingdom Hearts 3. Same message as always, the light is gathering together, hearts driven by one oath, one purpose. Got it. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. You look so good in this outfit, I have to say. And this, and this looks good too. Donna looks good. Again. Yep. Goofy you looks good. Like this world. Still, it's a real shame we don't have a bigger ship. This is like the same exact thing you did. <gasps> it is. It's based on the the second movie. Actually, technically, it's the third movie. And he looks good. They all look good. Oh, mwah, mwah. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Looks exactly how they should, too. Oh, my God. Anyone thinking of uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag? Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, look at that keyblet. Oh. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I, re I remember you people, you crazy monkeys. Look at him. It's it's kind of like um the little mermaid, not the little mermaid. It's magic. And he gets to go above and below the water. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh, it looks so awesome. Eddie. He's riding the cloud. You back in the organization? Yes. Surprising, isn't it? Jack don't you give this creep the time of day. Sora, stand down. It's the code. Told you! Mustn't strike a pirate aboard ship when said pirate offers to confabulate. He looks, I'm looking he looks good. For a box. Get them! Sora! All the titans. <laughs> they have come for us. The Please, stop! Farewell! Arendelle is safer with me staying up here. Y'all. Oh, please, go away. We're seeing things we've never seen before. I'm loving this. I'm really loving this. And the Unversed collected enough screams and sadness from those children. Yeah, and the whole time they were trashing our company in the process. You're following her. Maybe she's one of the seven pure lights we need. The new seven hearts. The new? Oh, set your heart free. That's creepy. The end, you'll finally realize what destiny That's like has the red rum. You. Come play with us, Johnny. In fact, your reward might be right around the corner. Hey, Axel. Huh? It's hey, Lee. Liking the look. Oh! Cut your hair, too. Mm -hmm. Interesting. This, this game does look like it's going to be very fulfilling. This one trailer. 
out of all the trailers, I felt like showed so much. Yeah. Don't even get started with me. Don't. <sighs> okay. Okay. So there were several things there. Like I said, Johnny Depp is, is taking on the role of being Jack Sparrow in a video game. I don't think he's ever done that. That's awesome. I'm not going to get mad about that. I do like the fact, like I said, it's like Atlantis in the, or Atlantica, or Antarctica, Atlantis, I think it's Atlantis. Anyways, the fact that he's, she, he's able to go under the water, it looks a lot like the first game, and how big it was, and, but the fact that he's able to come above the water, too, that, that just gives you such a big, clear idea of how open this world is going to be. The fact that you can go from under the water, above the water, and be high above the water is Oh my god, that is so awesome. Now, one thing I did notice and I'm just like, "Whoa, time out. Run it back. The new Pure 7 of Hearts, the new uh Princesses of Heart. That's a thing. Shouldn't that technically be only after the 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 current ones die or they get corrupted somehow or is it some of those things that like there's the old, and then there's the new. There's still technically groups of seven of them. Who knows? I'm I'm really interested in finding out now. Kyrie, Kyrie changed her hair. Uh, she it's it's pretty much the same outfit, but I did notice that that's the same thing that they have in Union Cross. If you're playing Union Cross, you can buy the outfits for Sora and Kyrie in these two uh, in this game. And I noticed that her hair was short in this one, and I didn't really think much of it until I've seen this trailer. So, they, oh my god, they're doing a lot. They are doing a lot for us. And so that brings me to my point on why this is delayed. I found out, actually, moments before I started doing this, it's because Tetsuya Nomura is being, is being put into a situation where if he wants to get a worldwide release on the same day... It's going to be very complicated for both America and, and Japan because not only does he have to get the game done in time so that he can get it shipped to every store in America, which I guess would take a while, but also other stores as well because I believe it's going to be worldwide. And so that would require them either speeding up the process of the development of this game or delaying it so that they can make sure it gets done on time and that everybody gets the game. So, in a sense, it's not a matter of, well, we've been been a little bit picky like we originally thought. It's more of he wants to make sure everybody is getting this game, not playing favorites. Which I really, really appreciate because I know as a fan, I would be put in this dilemma of I don't want to be ruined by watching spoilers, uh, watching other people play this game. Uh, but at the same time, I want to see it. I want to see what it's going to be like. It is in my nature to be curious. And so for that, I say thank you, Tetsuya Nomura. But at the same time, you're you're uh, you're on a fine line. The reason why you're doing it, understandable. Why it's being done, it's still messed up. Still messed up. Now, that also brings me to the fact that Big Hero 6, even though it was announced a long time ago... Has never been seen. We have seen worlds like uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Frozen. Uh, we've seen more of Hercules. We've seen Toy Box. All these things have happened in recent, in the last year or so. Not once have we seen anything besides an image or two for Big Hero 6. And the reason why is because that one is not far enough done yet where they can actually show everybody. And the reason why is they're still doing cutscenes. They have the gameplay. They have the worlds down. They're doing the cutscenes. Which I'm like, I can't get mad at that. As long as it's looking good as it is for um, Pirates of the Caribbean. Take your time, brother. Take your time. Mwah, that was beautiful. Pirates of the Caribbean looks like a dope world. It really does. Uh, like I said, it looks like um, Black Flag, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It looks good. I want to play this. I And I like the fact that now we are able to see more than three, four people in a world that actually are um, not somebody that's going to get killed. So we get to see huge cast of people that we did not get to see that actually 
are meaningful to the story. So this is going to be really good. I do not like the fact that we've skipped over the second movie in Pirates of the Caribbean, but I'm not going to complain because, in a sense, we didn't really need that. Though, if it was one of those things that we come back to that world and then we help out again, that'd be fine. But I'm not going to complain about that. Though I will complain if they um, make it really awkward again. I'd really like it if it was with... Uh, is it Blackbeard? No, it's not Blackbeard. Davy Jones. I, I'm i so bad. I'm sorry. I'm going to like it if it's like that one last scene where the ships are spinning around in that whirlpool. I'm going to love that. Before I end this, though, I do want to leave you guys with a little question. Why is it that the organization is so um, insistent on Sora to not only release Roxas, but release or have these bonds with people? Because isn't the organization's goal to win this supposed battle? Or is it to make the Keyblade? And by key, I do not mean the actual Keyblade like I have back there. I mean the, 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 the X-Blade, if you will. Is that the reason why they want to make it complete? And the only way to do that is if he does the things that he needs to do? I, I honestly want to know and I cannot wait to find out because there's a lot that seems to be going on just from this one trailer because we see Riku with um, the, I don't want to say Cyber Riku, but the, the one Riku from Castle Oblivion. You get to see those two together. Though, before that though, or not before that, in other trailers, you do see him and Mickey in the World of Darkness. Um, and he, he leaves his broken Keyblade there. So, I'm really, really hoping that there's a lot of story. Because that's the one thing everyone loved about the first one, is the story. The story is what made the game good. Uh, the second one was definitely the combat. The, the, or the second game was combat. And I hope they bring that together and make a beautiful baby. <laughs> but tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think that Pirates of the Caribbean is unneeded? It's not needed in this game. If you do, what's why? Tell me, really, what has Pirates of the Caribbean done to you? Tell me, boo-boo. Leave me a comment in the chat below, in the comments below. You know what I'm talking about. Do you think we're going to get more than 10 worlds? Do you think this game is going to last you a very long time and have some extreme replay value to it? Let me know in the comments below. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you press that like button and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr so you can stay up to date on all my activities, whether it be YouTube, Twitch, or just random stuff to make you guys laugh because you know that's what I'm here for. So hopefully I'll see you guys next time. But until then, deuces.